this is about, but uh, oh, you blew the transmission. You can see the lines leaking right there. Oh, that's not good. Oh, oh, he's peeing. Are you kidding me? Are you taking a leak? Look at this fucking guy. Thought he was leaking transmission fluid. He's just taking a leak. God damn it. going everybody welcome back to another episode of caswell customs Vinny here and uh it's probably gonna be a pretty short episode this week um just being christmas uh taking some time off um getting away for the weekend uh, i had a lot of stuff going on this last week as you guys saw we we're a little bit late to get out this previous week's video with you know just getting home late sunday lots going into last video i just i wanted to edit it right not mess anything up but I saw a lot of you guys' comments, and you guys were saying, hey, where's the Dino 2 numbers? Where's the Dino 2 numbers? So uh, that's what we're going to be going over in this episode. So it's probably be just a lot of me talking. I'll probably just uh, dub in clips over top of what I'm talking about. Um, didn't film a ton while I was doing the Dino Tune stuff. You know, I didn't want to obviously be shoving a camera in the guy's face. Um, but, uh, you know, he, he was pretty cool. He's like, yeah, you, know, you can film whatever you want. So I filmed a lot of the polls. you know the environment and everything didn't really do a lot of talking to the camera I was filming uh, just kind of focused on what was going on with the truck um, but uh, we have our printouts and our numbers um, so you know putting on that new air intake we were hoping hey we're gonna make some more power obviously having the long tube headers you know we're looking hey you know more air in to the engine more exhaust out bigger boom more power um, kind of turned into that so Obviously, we got to take this into the account of the fact that we're running 37s on a stock Chevy 10 bolt. So, you know, that's, uh, that's you know, not exactly like the most impressive uh, rear end setup. Um, but so when it comes down to it, we were able to make an official 221 horsepower. So you can see right there, we made 221 horsepower. It was obviously a pretty cold day, so accounting for air pressure and everything like that, saying about 280 or 218 um, with maximum torque of 280. So, hey, you know, that's not bad. You know, that's that's real rear wheel horsepower. You know, that's all usable horsepower. Um, which is good, this is what we want. Um, the, the thing is, is I think we should be pushing a lot more. And even the guy tuning my truck said we should be pushing a lot more. Um, as you can see on this graph, um, right here, around 4,500 RPM, uh, we just have this drop off. We just, you know, we're, we're climbing, we're good, everything's looking good, and then, um, he's saying that for that 5.3 liter, uh, we should be max RPMs around 5,600. So we're about 1,000 RPM short of where we should be, you know, at. Um, and basically he says that has a lot to do with the intake manifold we just put on. Um, you know, I'd see a bunch of people's comments that I posted in different places like, oh, that Jeg's manifold's crap. You're going to lose power. You're going to lose torque. Uh, you know, the factory one's better, and, uh, you know, me, I was saying, ah, no, nah. you know, why would they make this if it was, you know, worse? Um, one, it looks cleaner. Two, I always just, I was always under the assumption that more air in equals more horsepower out. That's what I was always told. So I was like, all right, bigger air intake, bigger throttle body, bigger intake manifold. Made sense to me. Well, it also has to do with kind of flow 
and how much you know condensed air we're pushing into there. So you can have a big, big throttle body, but if you're not running any kind of turbo setup where you're putting you know high psi compressed air into it, you're not going to get the performance out of it. So you know he looked at every other factor. We actually took the exhaust muffler off. Um, still doing it at 4,500 RPMs. We took the air intake, um, you know, filter off. You know, nothing. We couldn't figure out why it didn't want to, you know, max out at 5,600 RPM. So we did pretty much whatever we could. Um, he's also having a lot of issues with uh, the fueling. Um, the one bank, which is the bank that the actual the direct fuel line first comes into. You don't want to put it in. We put it at the front and then it goes in that first line and then in the back to the other line um, he's showing like really high numbers on that side and then almost nothing on the other side uh, so you know something else that is just kinda hey this is obviously not the best setup for this vehicle um, you know I don't know if that's something where I need to do an upgraded fuel pump or what but uh, Hi. Hey, you trying to? The camera. Oh, sorry. No, you're good. Come on, come on, let's go. So, um, I don't think it, it would be anything where, it, it might be where we need to upgrade the fuel pump. Um, we're not getting enough fuel pressure. Um, so obviously those first, that, that left side is just, you know, the passenger side is just sucking up all the fuel before it's able to get around to the other side. Uh, it's something I'm not quite sure. So, you know, even the bigger injectors aren't doing us any favor. Um, so, you know, there's some things we got to look at. Uh, am I happy with it? Yeah, I freaking love the truck as it is right now. Handles phenomenally. Um, shift points are, are real smooth, like real crisp. Like, you know, it really, you know, engages into that next gear quickly. Um, I went to do a burnout the other day, and for the first time, it would actually shift into second gear, which before it would never let me do that. So, you know, some good things came out of this. Um, so I'm happy with the 220 horsepower. Obviously, I'm not going to be happy with it forever. We're definitely going to be looking at increasing those numbers big time. So, camshaft, torque converter. All right, camera died there, but uh, and I don't know how long this one's battery is going to last. But uh, yeah, you know, we talked about with the guy things that are really going to help us get that more power. Camshaft, probably looking at like a stage three or four, uh, probably high lift. So we're looking at new uh, springs, push rods, lifters, uh, just some things that are going to help kind of make the whole engine in general stronger. Um, and then like I said, re-gear needs that really bad and upgraded torque converter, you know, higher stall torque converter. Uh, I think those are really going to be essential for this truck and making that more power. So uh, those are all things that are on our list. Uh, we're looking at probably pulling the engine hopefully in the spring and uh, making those big upgrades. Yeah, so anyways, obviously, uh, you know, would I say that intake was worth the money? Uh, in hindsight, no, probably not. Um, you know, I ended up going with it because, like I said, I thought it was going to be better. I thought it was going to be an upgrade. Uh, the old one got super full of mud, dirt, gunk. So I was like, all right, you know, I'll, I'll give it a shot. Um, didn't produce kind of what I thought. Um, I was thinking, and I mean, I know a lot of pre-runners that are running like 40s that, you know, it's 600 crank horsepower and they're maybe getting 300 at the wheels. So, you know, 37s on everything else going on with the truck, I would say 220 is not bad. Um, so in the last video, the truck obviously handled great. Um, you know, handling wise, nothing is a problem. You know, the, the, the shocks are great. The rear suspension's awesome. The biggest thing is just, you know, actual mid travel you know actual long travel mid travel whatever you want to call it because it's four wheel drive and it's that particular king shock in the front um, would probably be the only other thing that really needs to happen um, so you know that's where we're at with the truck um, still going to use it still going to kind of keep it the way it is um, definitely once we do those engine modifications got to get it retuned um, but, uh, you know, we're just going to move on from here, keep going with the truck, do what we can. Uh, so, you know, obviously stay tuned to the channel because lots more to come with the truck. Um, you know, we're going to be, like I said, camming it, re-gearing, uh, new torque converter. So pulling the transmission, adding trans coolers, uh, dual rear brakes with the uh, hoon handle on it. Um, so I've got most of the parts pretty much ready to go. Um, it's just certain things that I don't want to do until I have other parts. You know, I don't want to do the rear brakes 
until I have the re-gear because I got to take apart the diff to get the axles out to put those on anyway. So I, I got to do it all at once. Um, so, you know, it is what it is. Um, you know, I just got to, you know, it's obviously I'm not made of money. You know, we're not quite monetized with this channel yet. So, you know, if obviously that you can help us out by subscribing, um, you know, because we're, we're getting views, you know, people are watching, you know, we, we see you guys here every week. We really appreciate each and every one of you. Um, but, you know, until we have that thousand subscriber threshold, you know, we've got almost 6,000 watch hours. So it's, it's people are watching. Um, you know, we just, we need, we need those subscribers, but you know, obviously, uh, you know, I'm not made of money, so I can't just keep dumping it into the truck. Uh, you know, I do have other things going on that I got to pay for. So, um, you know, we're going to produce the best content that we can with the stuff that we have. So, uh, you know, right now I'm in the trailer and uh it's snowmobile season um we've got snow up north uh not a ton in the up but we've got snow up north uh grace and i are looking at going up there for a nice christmas you know time and uh hopefully we're gonna get do some snowmobiling uh we got about nine inches i believe it's snowing up there right now how much don't know but uh you know everything we get is helpful so you know let's pray for snow pray for snow um so you're gonna be seeing a lot of snowmobiling content uh, hopefully a lot of trips, you know, a lot of, you know, stuff similar to kind of what we were doing with the truck this weekend, uh, this past weekend, but with the snowmobiles, you know, that's, that's, that's what we're moving into, you know, winter here in Michigan, that's what we get is uh, snowmobile time, so uh, I'm just super excited to get out on that new Polaris Assault, uh, that thing is going to be wicked, uh, I'm excited to get Grace on the MTX, you know, she rode my brother's XTX, so MTX will be a little bit different for this year, and getting her into kind of the backcountry, um, gonna be a big learning curve for her uh, as well as I'm no professional I just started doing kind of backcountry riding uh, if you want to call it that you know boondocking last year so I still have a bunch to learn so uh, this should be a really fun and exciting winter and I uh, can't wait to take you guys along for it so as always I appreciate you watching another episode of Caswell Customs please like share subscribe to the channel it really helps us out and uh, I'm Vinny I'll see you in the next one you stole my heart of gold After my silver soul Can you dig any deeper now? I gave you all I own Put you on this golden throne But I'm a little stronger now Add a little